Well, call this number now if you want to get your 1,200 stimulus check. <laughs> call 202-244-3121. <laughs> you know what that is? 202-224-3121. That's the Capitol Hill. That's your congressmen and senators. <laughs> They're sitting on your stimulus bill. And I think you have to call to get it. These people are not moving at all. And the more I think about it, the more I think it's more just a money thing and not about the deficit or budget. No one cares about that stuff <laughs> in this country. It's really about feeling other people's pain. Yeah. And that's what I think these people lack, <laughs> mainly because look, at our, our, our economy is going down the tubes. Everybody knows that, right? <laughs> if you, you know somebody who has a business that's hurting or you know somebody lost a job, uh, here it is. Like down, it's down like 30% this last quarter. I mean, that, that, that's as big as the great, or I, I guess the second largest since the Great Depression back in the 30s. That's 1930s. <laughs> We're almost in the 30s and the 20s, yeah. Uh, and, and so we down the first quarter and then down horrifically the second quarter. So almost 30%. I mean, that's enormous. Yeah, that's why everybody is hurting. And there's three, 30 million people unemployed. 30 million people unemployed now. You know, we only have like a 150 or 160 million people in the workforce. So that means 20% are unemployed. And I think during the Great Depression was like 25%. So now we're one out of four people that you know are unemployed. Uh, in the Great Depression, one out of five. That's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> so things are hurting. Why these people can't do anything in Washington is besides me. And look at this, the unemployment rate, how it's on. You see the last big blip was down in the Great Recession in 1932. And now we have the other one in 2020. You know? uh, and that 14%, that is because so many people are, are, are applying not for the regular unemployment. They haven't learned how to count the unemployment under the new systems yet. We have unemployment, uh, new ways to get unemployment help. And so, you know, they're not counting it right yet. So it'll take a few, uh, who knows, weeks, months, years, you know, to catch up. But that's why the experts say there's about 30,000. I mean, 30 million. Now, what's going on there? Well, that's about People, the average person in this country makes about oh, 60000 59000 $60,000 a year, okay? Uh, so, so that means half of us are making less than that. Now, the other things happen is that the rich people don't use income. <laughs> <laughs> they count by wealth, how much stuff they have, how many <laughs> properties. And, you know, after they pay all their bills, what do they have left? So if you have a house and have a mortgage, say you have a house for $300,000 and you have a mortgage for $100,000, that means you have a net worth of $200,000, okay? Maybe you have a car for about $1,000. <laughs> so that means you have two hundred and one thousand dollars and $1,000 of net worth. Okay, here's what the net worth looks like. Uh, in here. So the 10 percenters have negative net worth. That means they own, oh, more than they have assets for. Then you get up the, the 30%, 20%, they get about $5,000. So about 40% of the people only have like $50,000 worth of net worth. Okay. So that, that's not much of a cushion. And most of that will be real estate. You know, so they own a home and they have some net worth in, in their home. So they're not sitting on stocks and bonds and stuff like that. Uh, and, and so half, <laughs> you know, all the fat cats have, look at these numbers on the right here. They start at $200,000, $100,000 in net worth of the 10 million. Yeah. Uh, and that's where most of the people are with that. Now, here's something. See, okay, now you saw the graph where our economy went down. It, it went down 30%. Well, look at this graph on net worth going up. This is like the, la the last quarter, 2020, the second quarter, so the, you know, the second three months of, of 2020, the net worth uh, in America w shot up. Look, at it's higher, it went up this last three months than any time in the world. <laughs> well, I, I, that's probably not true, but at least from what they're counting here, and this is about 10 years worth, you know, uh, and, and actually it's 15 years worth. So the more net worth. So who got this net worth? Okay. If you look at the small things here, it's corporate equity. 
So people who are in the stock market, they're making millions. <laughs> And they're doing just fine, thank you. <laughs> now, you think that's the average wage owner? <laughs> now, people who have high value of net worth aren't, you know, and in the stock market are not the average wage earner. Okay, here's a study here about uh, the New York Times. 84% of all stocks owned by Americans belong to the wealthiest 10% of the households. Okay, so 84% of all the stocks, okay, are owned by 10% of the household. Where's that? So that's up, you know, these are these fat cats. They, they're getting all the wealth. They're very happy with this, right? So that means the high income, 200,000 or whatever, or 150,000 and up, you know, they're doing very well, aren't they? So why do they care about the stimulus package? The economy is stimulating their income. <laughs> their wealth, which they rather more, they'd rather have wealth than, than income because they don't worry about daily expenses like the average person does. So they can't relate to it, you know, uh, and that's the problem. And, and, and you know, what, what's interesting to me, too, is that the congressman, a congressman makes like one hundred and eighty thousand dollars, one hundred seventy five, I think, one hundred seventy five thousand dollars. So what do they know about the average person? you know, live in hand to mouth. And half the country is making $60,000 or less when they were making it. <laughs> now there's, there's one out of five people in, in America ain't making nothing <laughs> and are going to count on that stimulus check. 30 million people. That's why I think you got to rattle the cages. Huh? And that's calling the switchboard number 202-224-3121. Just tell them where you live. They know how to connect you to the right office or give you the phone number or whatever. And tell them, because it, I, I don't know what they think about me. If I could get in someone's brain, it's, I can't even get into my own <laughs> to figure out what I, I want. But they got to hear. I mean, these people who run this country or run most things can relate to the average person. And the fire is not underneath them, you know, to do anything because they're, <laughs> They're living quite well, thank you. <laughs> and you and your vote could change their <laughs> outlook on life. And, and that's why you have to let them know. Uh, and that's been sitting up, you know, four months ago. We should have had this other one, right? And who knows when it's going to be. There's always a little, oh, it looks like they're going to do something. Ugh. And now the closer it gets to the election, I think the less incentive people have to do anything. So they have to hear from you, as far as I could tell. Uh, and that's 202-224-3121, 202-224-3121. If one out of four people don't have a job, you know, we have the biggest crisis, you know, financially since the Great Depression. Uh, but you have this top tier in America not affected by all, are actually making money out of it. How do these suckers know how to make money out of it? <laughs> when the whole country's going down the toilet. Man, I wish I was that smart. <laughs> Jeez, they must be smart people. <laughs> you think?